respect for Paul Dewar, and he got behind the indigenous communities of our region, and he gave support to the vision of Algonquin Elder William Commanda for what he would like to see happen down in Victoria Island. And for Paul, and for those of you who don't know William Commander's vision for Victoria Island, it was meant to be, it's a very sacred place, I think one of the most special places in our national capital region, an island in the middle of the Ottawa River. And the vision was to make that, to protect it, to restore it, and making it a meeting place for Indigenous peoples, but not just for Indigenous peoples, for all people. And Paul got behind the Indigenous community to support that vision for Victoria Island. So I think um, mostly everybody wants to hear from Paul, but I just want to impart a couple of things uh, before I turn it over to Paul. And one of the things is, is that you know, it's intuitive when you work to protect the environment, as people like to call it. You're, you're working to protect the quality of life of the people. And as I said, Paul really was very intuitive about what it took to improve our quality of life, and that was about improving our natural environment. And I really love the fact that the list of the things he's proud of was that list of the things that I talked to you about, they're about improving our environment and improving our quality of life. So, if you're inspired by Paul Dewar, which I'm sure most of you are, I know I am, I'd like to challenge you to find a way that you can make this world a better place, a way that you can deepen the community around you. And probably most of you know that Paul has created a, a, a new organization called Youth Action Now. And this Paul's vision is to help support youth and unleash the amazing power and passion that youth have. And any way that you can find to help support Paul's vision, he's got his Youth Action Network people here tonight. You can volunteer, you can donate, but I'm sure each and every one of us can find a way to help support that legacy of Paul, to support our youth, and create a vision for an Ottawa, for an environment that we can all get behind. And so, as I invite Paul up to the stage, I'd like to make a toast to Paul Dewar, an amazing community builder and defender Mother Earth, Paul. Paul Dewar. Give you a little snippet of 
what was in the report because it relates directly to what's happening um, here in the action of the College of Ottawa and you people. Um, Climate-related risks to health, livelihoods, food security, water supply, human security, uh, and economic growth are projected to increase with global warming. Climate resilient development pathways, trajectories that strengthen sustainable development at multiple scales while reducing the threat of climate change through ambitious mitigation, adaptation, and climate resilience. These are the kinds of things that have to be dealt with. But I want to also say, and it's been already mentioned before, we've faced these kind of challenges before. Um, deforestation, Clockwood Sound was already mentioned. Um, think about uh, what was happening before there was a corporation called Amazon. There was, in fact, a global challenge to make sure the Amazon was uh, retained, the lungs of our planet. Um, and in the Congo as well. Acid rain, put up your hand if you remember acid rain. And the, yes, and it was driven by citizens to do something. The fact that our forests and our lakes were being killed because we had thought of doing uh, the right thing and mitigating. But it was driven really by um, citizens, all of these challenges. And most of the work that was done, be it uh, deforestation, or what I just mentioned in acid rain, or the CFCs, the Montreal Protocol, was driven by citizens and young people. And right now we face that challenge of climate change. We need that same power to be unleashed for us. And we believe that if we can do that, we can make a difference. And that was the inspiration for uh, launching Youth Action Now. And, you know, it was interesting, the same day, it was February 14th, it was uh, Valentine's Day, that I had my brain surgery, was the same day as the shooting that happened in, in, in Parkland High School. And I, like many of you, was in despair, but felt like there's nothing that can be done after Sandy Hook and all of the horrible, catastrophic shootings that have happened. But then it happened. And a couple of days later, when I was in recovery, these young people decided that they weren't going to take the same old status quo from the so-called adults and politicians. And they changed the dialogue and they unleashed this power. And I thought, we could do that here as well. And so, just like Ecology Ottawa, Youth Action Now is a grassroots organization that is to unleash the power of young people to change things and to make sure things are going to be uh, righted that have been wrong. And we've already had an event, and it was to check in with youth about what they're doing, because they have been doing things already, uh, and to check in to find out how we can support and help them. And work in collaboration, just like a college